It's Saturday. It's time to party. We're at the Imagination Station. I'm Tony. This is Carl. And I know it gets a little weird when you have the fire extinguisher ready. It does, but yeah. we're going to use it for a different purpose other okay. than putting out fires. All right. Well, that's interesting. Because today we're working with dry ice. Here, take this glove okay. and take those safety glasses. Put those on. Yeah. Um, dry ice. You're going to see a lot of this around Halloween time. It's solid carbon dioxide. Okay, it's carbon dioxide in the solid state. And so the reason we call it dry ice is because at atmospheric pressure, it sublimates. It goes directly from a solid into a gas. It doesn't get wet, mm -hmm. it doesn't turn into a liquid. So, uh, you know, we buy this stuff in a big block and people would always ask, where, how do they make it? How do they get the dry ice? Good like question, that? good question. So this is a fire extinguisher, a CO2 fire extinguisher, but it's filled with liquid, carbon dioxide down here mm -hmm. with a little bit of headspace of carbon dioxide gas and it's pressure, it's under pressure, so it's liquefied. And so what they do is they actually allow that gas to quickly expand and they capture it and it makes sort of a snow. And we're gonna do that here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do it. Oh boy. So what we're gonna try to do is lift that up and we're gonna try to capture the nozzle. Yeah, bring it over okay. here, bring okay. it over here. Bring it down. Bring, bring it down here, down here. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you should just do it. Okay. Let me <laughs> this guy's not, this fire extinguisher's not cooperating. Look at that guy. Well, it okay. wasn't That's just okay. me. That's okay. We can do it. We can still do it. Here. We're going to help me cover this up. We might get blasted a bit. There you go. Huh? So what they'll do is they'll make this, uh, like, snow of yeah. dry ice. It's 109 degrees below zero, and they'll pack it together and bunch it up into a big block like this. So they'll just scrape it together and pack it up. Well, that's a fun job. A block. So that's how you make a big block of dry ice. But there's some other cool stuff you can do with this at home, right? If you are at home and you have some dry ice and you're having a party, go ahead and take this and okay. drop it in this one right here. First, just plain water. Here we go. Yep. Just water. So the cool thing is, since it's sublimating, it's changing into a gas, you can see that carbon dioxide gas has bubbles coming up, and the gas is so cold that it condenses the water vapor for the air to make this fog. There you go, perfect and, for October. And, and where's the fog going? It's just evaporating. It's, it's, it's not it's really like falling, doing anything. It's kind of falling down. Yeah, well, because it's, CO2 it's is cascading. Heavy. Cascading. It's cascading, right. exactly. Now, <laughs> the other thing you can do is Get some cabbage, boil up some cabbage. We've done this in the past. We boil up some cabbage and get the cabbage juice, the red cabbage. It's an acid base indicator. Oh, right. That's what's inside here. Oh, okay. If we, this is gonna take a while, so we'll come back to this. If we drop a hunk of carbon dioxide into this container, we're gonna see some color change happening as the uh, acid base indicator in there yeah. reacts to oh, the dissolved carbon dioxide. It's creating carbonic acid in the water. In fact, here at the Science Center, we have something other than cabbage juice. We have something called Universal Indicator. Oh. It's the stuff on the very last flask. Right. Or going over here. Graduated cylinder. Go ahead and drop that one in and watch there what you. happens. Whoa! So it changes over a whole spectrum of colors. Presto. As we uh, change the pH of the water, that carbon dioxide gas, again, dissolves in the water, creates carbonic acid. All right. And we got two of these graduated cylinders left. We do. What are we going to do? Well, before we get to that one. Oh. We're going to do this. There's more, but wait, we're, there's we're gonna, more. We're going to create a stream of carbon dioxide. And if you could like just open your mouth and put, put that on your tongue, what does that feel like? Um, does it have any kind of taste? You know, I, I really have a poor sense of everything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a little bit acidic. <laughs> it's like a Sprite maybe or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Everybody's taste a little bit different. But again, you can see what's happening here. <laughs> We've seen a definite color change just from our cabbage juice. Cool stuff you can do at home. Yeah. If you don't have cabbage, if you have soap, you yeah. can actually do something pretty cool. You can take... I have soap. Just give me a good solid squirt inside there. Yes, sir. Is that good? Yeah, give More? me another one. Oh, why hey, not? all right. Why not? Well, there you go, Mom. Yep. Sorry. OK, and then here, take some dry ice and drop... Use your soap for an experiment. Dry, dry, drop the dry okay. ice in there. Let's see what happens. Whoop. You make a mess, so yeah. you're definitely going to want to have like a tray or something underneath. But when Maybe you make like a mess that. with soap, is it really a mess? It's not, because you can clean it up. Yeah. But now watch, <laughs> if you pop the bubbles, sometimes you get little bursts of that CO2 gas that come out inside. Wow. Look so it's really kind of cool. The, you know, the <laughs> other interesting thing is if you try to pick up dry ice with something that's metal, like this, we'll see what happens. Uh -huh. uh, this piece is not big enough. Okay. Let's, try, let's try just pushing this on. <laughs> Sometimes you get these really spooky, <laughs> screamy sounds. It was Carl, not me. So the, uh, the warm spoon causes the CO2 to change into a gas. And as it goes past the metal, it, it causes the metal to vibrate. Or you okay. can take a coin and shove it in 
Wow, look at it go. And it vibrates. It's, it's a shivering George if it's a quarter. It's a, <laughs> this is a shivering Eisenhower. It's a solid dollar. But it's the same sort of thing. The coin is warm, causing the CO2 gas to come past the coin, make it vibrate, <laughs> and you can make shivering spooky. I'd say like a chattering Ike. Chattering, <laughs> chattering Ike. <laughs> with, a big enough, with a big enough piece, you can actually get some really good screams. That's or, great. But I mean, the shivering coin, put a, another one. Wait, well, hey, while you're getting ready to do this last one, right, this is gonna happen here? Well, Are we doing something with that we one? We were just watching this one, because oh. this was actually just started like this. That's okay. the control, and oh, we changed the into control that and the color. variable. All right, yep. well, while we're watching all of this madness around us, we want to remind you that today, the Imagination Station is not open. They're closed for the day because they're getting ready for the bash tonight. But if you're a grown-up, you can come down to the bash tonight, which starts at 7 o'clock. The tickets are available on the website, and you can find all the information there. It is a big fundraiser, the big bash that happens here every year, and the theme this year is the 70s. Absolutely. Come down and check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. And we'll probably be tasting we'll probably be doing this. dioxide. Yeah, and, man, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, we can break it out. Nothing weird about that. <laughs> and that's how you imagine it. <laughs>